Okay, so for our automation that is uh, posting ChatGPT generated YouTube comments, we are building our browser recording first and then our apps automation. So the first step of this is going to be going to any YouTube video and we're gonna be replacing this with a variable after the fact. So first step, I just picked any task magic video and we're just going directly there. Then what we have, actually, I didn't need this scroll down step. That was my bad. That was part of a different one. We record a click step that clicks add a comment, and then we're typing our comment. YouTube is a special situation where we need to use a click step to change this to an input field where most sites we can go directly into just typing. We'll notice that if I click type here, it's not able to type this comment. However, if I click first, then I type, it changed this to now become an input field, which is why now we're typing. So if you're running into issues posting comments on YouTube, it's probably because you're missing this click step here. And then next is clicking the comment button that submits this comment, which I'm not going to do right this second. So that is our browser recording. Next, what we need is an apps automation that listens for new YouTube videos and then prompts ChatGPT to generate a comment, and then we start our browser recording. So I set up this new video in a channel trigger that listens to the Jeremy Redman. Then when there's a new video here, which looks something like this, we are gonna ask ChatGPT to generate a comment for this YouTube video, and we can customize these settings if you know what you're doing, what you're doing here. Then we can take the result from this and use that to start our task magic automation. So what I did here is I selected webhook as my trigger inside of my browser recording, and then I grabbed this webhook URL and entered that here for the task magic URL to start. Next, we needed to send two different things to the browser recording, the URL of the video so that we go comment on the correct video, which comes from this trigger, and the comment to paste, which is what comes from ChatGPT. So when I tested this step, I can go back into task magic and click check for new events at my trigger setup and select the option or any options that I've sent with the data I'm looking for. We can save this and that's going to then create those as uh, or save those as variables in our automation. Now, instead of going to this YouTube video, we can click the at symbol and always go to whatever the URL is that's passed from the apps builder. Same thing down here, instead of typing hello, I can type whatever the comment is so that we're pasting what comes from the apps builder instead. Um, and then I'm gonna undisable that step. Uh, one thing, we probably wanna tweak our ChatGPT step to not return quotation marks. Uh, if this is very painful with ChatGPT, I haven't used the ChatGPT app a ton. You can also look at using the text helper to remove quotation marks and things like that if it's getting annoying. Uh, but anyways, if we click play steps, we'll see this go to that URL, click add a comment, and then it is going to type that comment. So this is the URL uh, from my trigger. This is the video that came from our trigger. And then we should be able to see the comment in our in section here of embracing automations, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it looks like we did need that scroll down step. That's my bad. So see, I'm going to keep this in the video because why not? See how when I scroll down there, uh, it needed to load the page there. So what we can do here is click record. I wasn't sure about this. I thought that was from another automation. That is my bad. Okay, hopefully I can show it to you again here. So see how, see how on the right over here, this is still loaded. There's a bunch of things. And if I was to scroll, there's going to be more results over here. The comment section though, if I scroll, I had to scroll to load that. See how that had a loading icon, but these didn't. This doesn't, but that did. Scrolling loaded more. So we're gonna record a scroll down step and fix this super quick by confirming that. We can make this extremely fast, like half a second. And then let's make sure that this happens before our click step. And now our automation is go to a page, scroll down, click add a comment, type a comment, and then click submit. Okay, now this won't mess up. So if I click play steps, we should see everything run as normal. So again, this should scroll for just half a second. And if it scrolls too far, that's okay. We just wanna scroll far enough that it shows up on the page. 
So we'll see on the right over here. Now that add a comment is present and we can click and type the ChatGPT generated comment. So that is the automation. We're generating our comments from ChatGPT. We can tweak this and fine tune this as much as we want to get better responses and remove quotation marks and format it and add emojis and whatever else you want. Um, it looks like it actually does add emojis. So uh, this is that. Feel free to add as many actions as you want. Feel free to use things like Claude instead. Um, but yeah, get creative with this. Use apps and browser recording together. Enjoy it. Um, yeah.